to day one and can you believe it I am in Port Douglas um, I thought I was going to be in some dead-end town of Melbourne or in an apartment but instead I'm in this beautiful paradise and I guess going into this it was yeah fear of the unknown, what's going to happen who am I going to get um, so far so good oh yeah this this looks like a down to earth um, really nice family I really like Yolanda because she's really nice she does all the chores she's a stay at home Mick and I got along really well. We're just talking as if we've known each other for ages, so that's been really nice. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty cruisy. Be a few rule changes, no doubt, but um, from uh, what I got to know about her is uh, I don't think there'll be any annoying rule changes. There'll probably be stuff that we should have done ourselves, but you need someone else to point out for you. You just start wondering, am I a good parent? Am I a bad parent? Yeah, it makes you analyse everything. It just, this whole experience I think is going to be really good for our family. So it's been exhausting, as you can see by my psycho hair. Uh, we had a pretty big night, something I'm not really used to. It was a little bit, a little bit gut-wrenching as we were leaving because um, we left the kids home alone. Something I would not consider doing at night time. Really unnatural. Just to be out, it was really loud, it was exhausting. Definitely party animals. Something that, something that we're not. Definitely glad it's not my normal life. But Chang, I can't wait till, till it's, till it's done. I'm kind of worried about the new rules that she's going to put in place with the new bedtimes, um, religion, spending more time with the family, and because. I never do that at all. Although one part of me is like the calm before the storm. Uh, what's what's going to happen rule change day? We all, we like Yolanda. Yeah, she's really nice. But we just think we'll see a different side of her tomorrow. I guess this is just some random from Victoria that's, as I said, not being like malicious or trying to cause grief. It's just her analysing what she's seen in front of her and said, well, this is what I think. Because she spends so much time with her kids and we spend hardly any time with our mum, she thought she was really surprised. I think we've realised today that we would like to spend a lot more time with mum. You try and spoil your kids by giving them everything materialistically that they want and... Uh, then you sort of start thinking, well, maybe it's not all the toys they want. It's They don't want iPhones and laptops and all that. They just want your parents' time. I mean, you've only got Bianca till the end of the year, and then she's off to boarding school. I really hope that your weekends are not going to be spent working when she comes home from boarding school. I'm pretty sure that you would have seen our family spend a heck of a lot of time together, um, but that's just because we just love each other's company. And I really, I really wish that on your family. I uh, didn't quite realise how much TV we watched. That was one thing that stuck in my mind today. I think Nick actually really liked not having the TV on and being able to just kick back and have a conversation. Although I must say, it got quite intense. Um, he had stood on his toes when I told him that, you know, I didn't like the idea of his 12-year-old having fake nails. It's hard being criticised and keeping a level head sometimes and trying to think, well, where are you coming from, rather than just biting back straight away and going, no, don't, don't make presumptions about my family. You don't know them. I'm just here to share share my lifestyle and God's a big part, big part of my lifestyle so being able to share that was, was pretty awesome. You can't argue about religion, it just doesn't stop. Right? No one's right, no one's wrong, it's to the individual so I'll let her do that each night with the kids, have a quick little chat about God before they go to sleep and if the kids turn around and say, Dad, buy me a Bible at the end of this, well, I'll go and buy them a Bible. Only thing I really hate is the devotions. Like, I don't want to do any more devotions after she leaves ever in my life. But how could you be in such a fantastic environment 
and and just not know that God is all around you. As different as Yolanda and I are, and as different as our families have been sort of brought up, she, she comes from the best place possible as far as helping her family out that she can. She's doing the best job she can. And that families just evolve day to day, week to week. And you can get stuck in little routines and it can be easy to do things one way, but you also can change a little bit. And change is not such a bad thing.